Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, I'm Lucia, and today on the channel we are continuing watching Interview with the Vampire, we're on Season 1, Episode 3, and this one is called, I don't really know, to be honest, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. The last episode we ended off uh, with a conversation having be between uh, Louis and Dan Dan Daniel about how... Lustat had just a way with him how no matter what he Louis just was compelled to be under his spell and even if he was fighting it he would still go along with it and um, you know he's like I'm not a murderer and uh, yeah it, they're eventually gonna break their obviously I know they're gonna break because I've read the series but at some point they're gonna break, and um, we'll see why. It'll, also, it'll be interesting to see how they portray it in the series versus the books that I vaguely remember. I mean, I remember a lot of it, but also detail. Um, yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see any further changes. But I like it so far. I think the I main my main issue is more on me that I feel like I'm not talking a lot because I'm just like watching things unfold. So if the reactions are boring, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyways, this is where we at. Let's get started right. Well, Uncut is on Patreon, but let's get started right now. Do you ever think that we, that's to say our kind, were put on earth for a larger purpose? I put you on this earth. No. Your purpose is to enjoy yourself. That can't be all Thanks. That Thanks, Lestat. I don't believe that. Well, tell me what I believe, Louis. Excavate the heart of thoughts buried beneath my damaged soul. We can eat animals and be okay. Rats, cats, cattle. Is okay what you desire, Louis? Shall we walk For his immortal the soul? gods of easily attainable dreams? I desire about as much as you do. But I don't want to be a burden. Should we be more select? What? Be Only a colon. The humorous? It came from apes. We came from them. <laughs> we should be better than they are. You refer to them as they to get on my better side. And yet Try he still wanders around with humans. Say we come yeah. from the murderer, planting a flower bed, thinking only of flowers. How long do we wait before his bloody deeds reveal themselves? As long as it takes. You haven't thought this through, Louis. He what? He from unfortunates, breaks into tenements, and robs them with their meager possessions. Oh. And does that meet your satisfaction? <laughs> Did it so fast? If you don't mind the shaking, I've snapped his spine. It's merely his nerves spasming. Oh, I totally would eat that. Well, go on. Use your criminal biscuit. See how it tastes. Eat. Thanks. If your reason or his heart fails us. I'd rather you have killed a human, let's be honest here. Your knight had nothing to do with ridding the world of criminals or finding It was to make himself feel better. Your existence. For every 20 people he kills, he makes one small businessman's dreams come true. Louis de Pontelac, the Dark Prince of Iberville. He's so... So good for the economy. I don't want to kill people anymore. There it is. Yes, he knew. A fish that doesn't swim. A bird refusing flight. Goes against the very nature. You're going to struggle. I favor the feline population of New Orleans. Me too. Kill people Your rather than cats. What? Mr. Martin, you have played the same melody the very same way for two weeks now. Your talent is immense, but your mind is elsewhere. Think you could do better, Jack? Well, I'm not being yes. so more fortune on top of that tip jar to perform. My skills are irrelevant. People yes. didn't come here to hear you jabber, Mr. Lion Court. Well, they didn't come here to hear you play either. Otherwise, you'd be in a concert hall and there'd be fewer prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't your kind of music. You can pretend to be a vegetarian. I can pretend the fool. <laughs> no, you're in. <laughs> It's a like that bit. <laughs> oh, didn't that 
get your dick wet, gents. <laughs> He's like, he loves music, bro. He loves to humiliate people. Uh, he improv the melody for what would later become the Wolverine Blues. Wait, 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 wait. hold on there. You're saying Lestat wrote the Wolverine Blues? I can't be definitive. So much of that year was a blur, and you can imagine what times <laughs> does to the minute details. This. That's yes, it. Yes, that's it. Perhaps I was mistaken about the Wolverine Blues. Fuck the Wolverine Blues. Can that's not what's important. The footnotes. It's the abused abuser psychological relationship I'm talking about. I do not consider myself abused. I mean, usually when you're a little too close to it, the abused still loves the abuser. But Toxic. Completely on its head. I'm not a victim. Fifty years later, you talk like he was your soulmate. Like, like, like you were locked in some fucked up gothic romance. <laughs> you were the prince of your district. Lestat chased an American icon out of town because he loved you. 1917 doesn't sound like it was such a bad year. Rigged to burn. Daniel. Silent it was all gonna go up in flames. Talk like you flame, filled in he for does. Jelly the next night. He and Miss Brown dazzled the waiting Johns and invited their admirers back to the Rue Royale. Look, my libido was not what it had been. I understood the indulgence. I let it happen. So he cheated. <laughs> Mr. Louis, you have to convince Lestat to keep playing. Got a better chance making a Mississippi run north. We had a good run, but I did it for Louis. I do everything for Louis. Yeah, I heard that about you too. Oh, well, what have you heard? I'm not a gossip. But I am. Right, right, right. You know, people at the Azalea, they say, you're confusing me. <laughs> I like men called daddy. <laughs> Your blouse <laughs> is soaked in champagne. Oh no, I gotta take it off. Bad daddy. I was beginning to wonder about your manners. I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna get something to eat. Is the animal market still open? Enjoy yourselves. It's the purpose of living. He gets that way when he's hungry. <laughs> so you didn't kill him? No. She has talents. She... I was gonna say, he's not gonna kill her. That's close to business. Oh, no, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up. No way. I can smell her on you. From time to time, I like a little variety. He's always wandering his eyes. There. I said it. We're communicating so much better now, no? Oh, good. Good communication. So I can fuck whoever I want. Of course. There's this course. look on his, his chin locked up for a second. As long as you come home to me. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You ever think about those old days? When we were kids. How long are you here for? A couple nights. The boat over the ocean. Let's start, don't kill him. A thousand other fellas wearing this same costume. You think this is nice? Wait till you see my pretty old and look at Okay, that's what you look like. Uh, who you looking at? So y'all used to fuck, right? We're messing with each other. One. I figured as much. No ring on your finger. Not a woman. Honest with you. Well, what's he like? He's a lot. Yep. Perfect. But we kind of have this agreement. The fuck, I mean, you can drive out to the bayou, tie our agreements. Yep. Good fit. This uh, uniform. Well, it's the moonlight. 
What's that about to show up and fucking knock this guy's head off his head? Why? Cause he jelly like that. <laughs> Very on par. Self humiliation, mutilation. I can smell him on you. <laughs> I would meet Jonah decades later. You're lingering, Rashid. Apologies. What did he say when he met you again? I thought... When you were young and he wasn't. What they all eventually say in one articulation or another. What are you? <laughs> the ghost. Get the That doesn't look sus at all. Go to your room. What did I tell you? Damn. Devil walks at night. There he is. There he is. I'll be like, don't be fucking touching me like that. Like, I get why you like this, but when my brother died, I knew shit. Look at him, he's so angry, he's so bitter. He's like, look, I'm fucking having a good time, even though I'm making it worse. I'm a lot. Yes. Perfect. No. I knew it. I knew you were there. Yes. You jealous? Yes. I don't like sharing. What about Antoinette? It's different, I don't have feelings for her. He did me some face and I drove him home. I heard your heart dancing! You watched the whole <laughs> thing like some creeper. And then I watched you pull over and drain the dog and run down an alleyway for two more rats. This is not a life. That's because you took my life. I got nothing. I lost everything. I, I mean, lost my brother. you said yes. I lost my family. <laughs> about to lose the last fucking thing I care about. We should have kept up more appearances. Hookers, hooch, Did you sell me the azalea because you knew this day was coming, Tom? You put a sir on the end of that. And he sold you the fair play for a price you set. You ain't answering my question, Tom. Now, we're all Listen, together, fair Mr. dude. Don't touch me, right? To like... property back from you. Say, 15 cents on the dollar. <laughs> When your mother 15, sees huh? the devil in your eyes, it's a hard assessment to abandon. Am I from the devil? I... Is my very <clears throat> nature that of the devil? I had hedged against the question. But now it completely overwhelmed me. Who am I? It's not about that. You think I'm going to let that snake bite me and my people? You have your investments on the Claiborne Avenue. My hats, little grocery stores, nickels, dimes, quarters. I don't know. Sure it is about the money. <laughs> I'm gonna speak for the girls and say as minority owners, that's a stupid fucking business plan. This state I was in, I was what? I was manic. You ain't gonna get anyone, bro. You put up a sign like that, you're inviting chaos. The actions of the city council as well. In front of everyone, kill him. In America, make him a vampire. Fuck with that vampire and see what comes of it. Kill him in front of everyone. It'd be funny. Murder him. Why is your heart beating so fast? <laughs> the thing that's been done is legal under the city of New Orleans charter. And again, I'm merely one alderman on that council. Take his arm, his heart out. There's a harder way of doing this. Bro, you're dying. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm arrogant. <laughs> Maybe I am arrogant. <laughs> what are you? Yo, um, but more than you. <laughs> he said it all up. <laughs> They're gonna know it's you, Louie. 
that's yeah they definitely knew it was you i must confess i'm very proud of you Louis. <laughs> it goes against much of my teaching but you managed to execute it with such a plum I didn't so do much for drama i did it okay. for my city my people Oh, you did it for you. Is to buy the land for cheap. I know what they're doing. So that torturous death was for your people? Like right, right. The display of his body like some public art piece was for your people. Totally did for his people. Comment? <laughs> Save that life for your son. You knew. Did you not smile when he begged? Did you not feel pleasure as you come? You gotta, you, don't you lie to yourself. You didn't stop me. We should make this our anniversary. <laughs> it was I who should pay for this sin. So go kill all those people. The, the, the ones harming you. And then one of those inconceivable moments. Claudia. My light. My Claudia. My redemption. I do this to make myself feel better. Did it too. Well, that was episode three. You know, the thing with Louis back in the day. You know the the past him he was very much lying to him to himself and on one part of i get it because he so much clings to his human life and the human emotions and i'm not saying that the stats in the right or wrong and neither is louis in terms of how they live their lives because like it's true they are on a higher existence of rule set you know it's true i'm not gonna lie they're freaking vampires you know and um Everyone, everyone knew how they played by the rules. It's different, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, basically, I need Louis to stop lying to himself, to try himself, make, to try and make himself feel better. It's not gonna work. It's, it's, it makes him look weak, in my opinion. Like, oh, you mean you can't. Hold on. Um, you can't. Like, I did it for my people. I did it for this and that. No, bro. You hated feeling less than and lied to and made a fool of. So you did it to make yourself feel better. It's okay. I get it. I mean, it's okay. Like, I get it. Just acknowledge it and stop lying. Is essentially what I'm saying. And, um, little stats face, though. He's all like... He's so jealous. Like... In, not even realizing that the the person that brings about about the separation of the two of them is largely because a lot it's not himself. It's like he doesn't understand that, and I don't. It's like, bro, you've lived so long and you're not getting it. He's dumb. Let's be honest here. Anyways, that was episode three. I will see y'all next time for episode four. Bye for now.